Hi, I'm Jo Neal, International Education Director for Tony and Guy, and I'm here today at our flagship academy here in central London, working on this year's collection, The Legacy, which has been dedicated to our founder, Tony Muscola, whose passion for education touched the lives of so many hairdressers around the world. It was also a privilege for myself to have worked with him and be educated by him. Within the Legacy Collection, we have three elements, working from vintage, contemporary, through to creative. There are also three elements of approach of application, working from perimeter to interior to detailing. On my model Georgia today, we're going to be working with shades of rosary and shaded pink, uh, working very much on curvature sections and really kind of detailing a lot of this section pattern through the interior shape of the haircut. So let's have a look at the step-by-step. -step. A profile and radial parting are taken. A crescent parting is taken from mid-recession to mid-recession on the opposite side. From the recession, a dipped horseshoe is taken through the lower crown to the recession on the opposite side. From the top of the ear, a curved section is taken parallel to the horseshoe through the occipital bone to the top of the ear on the opposite side. Starting at the nape, subdivide the section and apply the colour rosé to the outline of the section. Then with the tail comb, a slice is taken and the rosé colour is applied to all of the roots. This application is repeated throughout the section. At the bottom of the section, a slice is taken and a clear mesh is placed underneath. The rosé colour is applied to the ends. Each section is over-directed onto the mesh and the colour is worked throughout. Once completed, the section is isolated with a clear mesh. This application is repeated on the opposite side. This colour block application is used to create an even colour from roots to ends. The colour block application here is being used with the lighter shade, which will create softness through the perimeter of the shape. Once completed, the section is isolated with a clear mesh. In the section directly above, Shaded pink is worked around the outline of the section. Next, a slice is taken and shaded pink is applied to the top and bottom of each root area. The slice is then taken and the hair is placed onto a clear mesh. Using the cheekbone as a visual guide for where the colour rosé will sit, apply the colour to the ends, working up towards the shaded pink root. Turning the brush onto an angle, gently blush the two colours together. The next slice of hair is placed directly over the previous section, which will act as a guide for the root stretch application. Apply the shaded pink a little bit lower to where it meets the previous application, and then apply rosé to the ends of the hair. With each section taken, blush the two colours together. This application is continued throughout the section. Occasionally, back brushing is used where needed to create a really seamless blush of tones. The final section is isolated with a clear mesh. The same root stretch application is repeated on the opposite side. Within the front side section, shaded pink is used to outline the section. The brush is tilted on an angle to capture all of the hairline. A fine slice is taken at the bottom of the section and a clear mesh is placed underneath. 
a small root is applied. The cheekbone is used as a visual guide here for how long the root area should be. Next, rosé is worked onto the ends of the hair, working up towards the shaded pink. The brush is turned onto an angle and the two colours are seamlessly blushed together. Another slice is taken directly above and placed over the previous section. In this next section, the shaded pink roots are stretched slightly longer to meet the guide underneath. The rosé is blushed into the root area. Once the section is completed and isolated with clear mesh, the technique is repeated on the opposite side. You can see here that she tilts the brush onto an angle when working with such a strong colour along the hairline. This prevents any demarcation lines and ensures that all the fine baby hairs are coloured. A root stretch application always begins with a small root area and a large build-up of the secondary tone on the lengths and ends. It then finishes with a large root colour and a smaller amount of the secondary colour on the ends. Once completed, the section is isolated with a clear mesh. Moving on to the top right section, a slice is taken and the colour lilac is applied to the roots. The guide for the length of the lilac root area here is the eyebrow. Next, rosé is applied to the ends and worked up to meet the lilac root, tilting the brush on an angle to blush the colours together. This first slice is the guide for the rest of the section. Within the consultation, it's important to map out areas of the face that can be used as a guide for where to stretch the root colour to. Here, the guide is the eyebrow, which allows for the brighter colour to be revealed through the underneath. The lilac roots are a contrasting hue to the shaded pink underneath. This juxtaposition of soft cool to soft warm through the top and warm to soft warm through the underneath creates a multi-dimensional transient colour palette. You can see here that the sections taken are very fine. This is because when working on pre-lightened hair, the porosity of the hair can affect the distribution of product. Working fine sections and not isolating with mesh in between allows the product to penetrate through. The application is repeated on the opposite side. Working with the clear mesh allows you to visually see the colour developing and gives total control over the colour placement. Working through the technique, you'll find that your speed naturally starts to increase, resulting in a speedy, commercially viable colour technique. The completed section is isolated with clear mesh. In the front section, horizontal sections are taken. First, lilac is applied to the roots and is stretched out into the interior detail of shaded pink. The ends are coloured with rosé and the section is isolated with clear mesh. The next slice is taken and lilac is applied to the roots. It's then stretched into the rosé through the ends. A third slice is taken and the original combination of lilac, shaded pink, and rosé is worked.
even with the strength of colour and the interior shading detail, it's still important to seamlessly blush the tones together, using a combination of the brush on an angle and gentle back brushing. The broad colour palette gives appeal across generations and gender and offers a transitional palette from winter into spring. These two methods of application are alternated throughout the section and on the opposite side. The defined bold sectioning pattern of the contemporary interior technique is made commercial by the hues working together, with pops of conceal and reveal shades where the hair is given volume and texture. This completes the contemporary interior technique for the Legacy collection. The juxtaposition of strength and softness, cool and warm hues is the defining feature of the contemporary interior technique. This juxtaposition is reflected with the colours of lilac, rosé and shaded pink, working with a feeling of both power and elegance with a sculptured quality to the finish.